While science puts forward the claim, water is made of hydrogen and oxygen, H2O, two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. The understanding water is made of hydrogen and oxygen underpins all of modern chemistry. One technique to demonstrate water is made of hydrogen and oxygen is the electrolysis of water. But my question to the YouTube scientific community relates to the scientific activities of two English gentlemen, one a chemist and the other a surgeon, who first performed the electrolysis of water over 200 years ago. Uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. Hi there, I'm Pete, the other half of Peter and Pete, and in this video we're going to pose a very thought-provoking question to the YouTube scientific community, because we think science has got it so, so, so wrong, and water is not made of hydrogen and oxygen at all. In the late 1700s, the pioneering French chemist Antoine Lavoisier introduced his oxygen theory, and from this, water was no longer considered an element in its own right, but was understood to be made of hydrogen and oxygen. Later, in 1800, an English chemist, William Nicholson, and an English surgeon, Anthony Carlyle, were experimenting with a voltaic pile, the first known battery to continuously provide electrical current to a circuit, and two pieces of platinum wire. They took a small tube, mounted it vertically, filled it with water and sealed it. The platinum wires were then both inserted at either end of the tube and they were connected to the voltaic pile. As the tips of the platinum wires were gradually moved towards each other, they observed that a stream of bubbles was produced from each tip, one found to be oxygen and the other hydrogen. They concluded water was decomposed into the two gases of which it is made. Now my question to all of YouTube's scientific community is very simple and very straightforward. When Nicholson and Carlyle noticed the stream of bubbles produced at the tip of each platinum wire, how could they have concluded the gas products originated from the water alone and not from the platinum wire? It's been our contention for some time that in 1800 and with all of the equipment available to them at the time, Nicholson and Carlyle could never, ever have scientifically proven the gas products originated from the water. So it is very reasonable to suggest the gas products could have originated from the platinum wire. But let us know what you think. How have you determined the gas products originate from the water and not the materials placed in the water? Do you know of a scientific paper written by Nicholson and Carlyle actually describing how they followed the scientific method and identified the origin of the gas products. Was it possible Nicholson and Carlyle only assumed the gas products came from the water to support Lavoisier's new oxygen theory? If this is the case, then Nicholson and Carlyle clearly put forward a pseudoscientific claim, and the claim water is made of hydrogen and oxygen is nothing more than an idea. So there you have it, an example of a scientific claim that cannot be proved to be true. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like and subscribe and click that bell icon to receive notifications when new content is uploaded. So until next time, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you later. The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat everywhere, it's flat.